Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So since things have been kind of quiet on the global side recently and the Christmas celebration is finally winding down, um, I thought this would be a good time for us to look forward to the next major celebration on Global, which of course is the Fizz Piccolo celebration. And uh, it'll be starting in... Actually, I don't know the exact date it's starting. I'm gonna say very soon, within the next like couple of days to a week. And in today's video, I thought we could take a look together at what kind of events we can expect from this uh, celebration starting in the new year, right? Now, as a reference, I'm using the JP celebration, the JP campaign that brought Fizz Piccolo to JP, but do keep in mind that there could be some changes when it comes to global. So uh, some things we cover in this video might not actually happen. Definitely keep that in mind as you're watching this video, but I think it's gonna be very similar, you know, because these campaigns typically between JP and uh, global uh, usually are quite similar as far as events go, so uh, there's that. And without further ado, with that disclaimer out of the way, let's check it out. So first things first, we have a uh, Satan's Heart Pounding Gifts or Hercules Heart Pounding Gifts uh, little campaign or login bonus. And uh, the thing is, we just got this on Global for the Christmas celebration. So while there is still a chance that we might get this again, uh, I'm gonna say it's unlikely, don't necessarily expect it. It's always nice to get this, even if you only get one stone a day, it's still one extra stone on top of the regular login bonus, right? But uh, like I said, since we got it so recently, uh, we're most likely not gonna get it again for the next campaign. And then after that, we have a login bonus, pretty standard, and also some missions for some stones, orbs, all that good stuff, pretty standard stuff. And then for the main Dokkan festival for the celebration, we have the Fizz Piccolo, Dokkan Fest and also the non Dokkan Fest AGL Nail, who actually is really solid too. Definitely don't sleep on that AGL Nail. He's uh, quite good. But overall, I would say this banner is, uh, is solid, but nothing to get excited about. Fizz Piccolo is solid. Actually, he's really good, but um, he's not a unit that's going to excite a lot of people. So overall, I would say um, unless you are a whale or you are... Uh, someone who just absolutely loves Piccolo, like he's one of your favorite characters in the entire franchise. Uh, it's most likely gonna be a skip or like a couple multis and you're done kind of thing, kind of deal. Like for me personally, I'm doing maybe 200 stones, maybe 250 stones for one video, and then I'm out, right? So um, obviously it depends on your own personal situation, like I said, but uh, don't do, don't go too crazy on this banner because we have a much better banner on the horizon, probably within the next like month or two, uh, the STR transforming cooler banner that uh, is just way better, a no, way better place to spend your stones because uh, cooler himself is quite a bit better than Piccolo and I think overall his banner is probably better too compared to Piccolo's banner so uh, yeah that's my advice but it's obviously up to you. If you guys want a full breakdown of the banner as well as what Piccolo and Nail do then go check out that video I made a couple days ago. I think I was actually yesterday. I think it might have been yesterday. Go check out the video I made yesterday, just uh, breaking down all that stuff, okay? So after that, we have the uh, category summon banner for the Worthy Rivals category, which is uh, one of the categories that uh, the Fizz Piccolo leads. And uh, I mean, I've said this many times already, I don't recommend anybody to summon on category banners. So if you guys do want to, it's your choice, but um, it's a bad decision. And after that, we have a Dragonstone sale. Of course, every single celebration brings Dragonstone sales, so no surprise there. And the uh, Dokkan events for the Fizz Piccolo. We also have the new Prime Battle LR First for himself finally making his way to Global. Uh, the interesting thing is, uh, is that the Piccolo is dropping on January 5th based on the schedule on DBZ Space, but the LR sale apparently is coming on New Year's, so depending on your time zone, it's either the morning of January 1st or the night of uh, December 31st. So uh, within the next three days, this guy, or three to four days, this guy will be available on Global um, a little bit earlier than the other stuff, but uh, that's fine, I guess. And we also have a new story event, but technically not a new story event anymore since we already have this. It's uh, the event for the exchange STR Vegeta and Trunks. 
Uh, we also have a new Extreme Z Battle event, and this one's pretty freaking exciting because it is the Extreme Z Battle that gets you the medals to Dokkan Awaken or Extreme Z Awaken, seven different summonable units, and they all become really, really good after their EZAs. Uh, we'll take a you know closer look at that in just a second. I'm not gonna go over the details for each of them individually because that would just take way too long and we have no confirmation that this is actually coming, but I think it's likely that we will be getting this and uh, I really hope it happens because like I said, they're all really good. I would love to test them out on global. So that is the first of potentially two new Extreme Z battle events coming to global with this uh, celebration. We'll talk about the next one in just a second, but first things first, let's cover some other stuff like a new ultimate clash, which was to be expected once the current ultimate clash on global expires in about 15 to 20 days this one will come along to replace that and we also have the return of a few older story events like the fizz second form frieza event the agl piccolo event and also the str kid gohan event and if you guys didn't uh, finish farming them in the past or maybe you're a new player um, i would definitely recommend you guys get them done because they're all very solid free-to-play units in their own right especially the uh, Fizz second form Frieza, who can actually do some really, really crazy damage. So uh, get them done, guys. And now we have potentially the next Dokkan Fest exclusive Extreme Z Awakening on Global, which would be for the uh, STR Perfect Cell. Now, I say potentially because I'm not 100% sure it's going to be him in this slot. It could be uh, Fizz, Super Saiyan Blue, Kaoken Goku, it could, or sorry, did I say Fizz? Um, AGL, Super Saiyan Blue, Kaoken Goku, it could also be potentially, uh, who are we missing from the 70% leads? It could also be Omega Shenron, right? Uh, maybe AGL, Super Vegito, uh, maybe, maybe even Fizz, uh, Vegito Blue. Now, I feel like Vegito Blue is a little bit early since we just had the vote conclude a couple days ago. Uh, no, actually, is it still on? The voting still might be on, so yeah, it might be a little bit early. Uh, I think they would still need some time to actually work out the details. By the way, I'm assuming Fizz Vegito Blue is going to win. I didn't check the polls since the first day of voting, but um, you know, Fizz Vegito Blue was just winning by such a landslide that I assume that he's going to end up winning. So uh, that will come to global first at some point, but I think that's a little bit early for that. So I'm going to assume until further notice that uh, for this celebration, we'll be getting the uh, seven unit mass Extreme Z Awakening and then also getting the STR Perfect Cell Extreme Z Awakening, which I'm 100% okay with because he is extremely, extremely strong. We'll talk about him in just a second. Uh, he's also bringing with him, of course, an Extreme Z Dokkan Festival banner. And uh, I guess the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, the AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta will be featured on that banner, along with, of course, the Perfect Cell and uh, a third unit that I don't know, don't really care. Uh, next up, we also have a category summon for the Feature Saga. Once again, stay away from category banners. They're just terrible value. Terrible, terrible value for your stones. And uh, the Perfect Cell Dokkan event will be available every single day during the campaign. And we also have the return of the Vegeta Jr. story event. And also the return of the Ultimate Android Saga story event as well, where I believe we can farm the GT Frieza, GT Cell, and also a 18 and 17. So if you guys have been meaning to get those units done, then there's your chance. And last but not least, we have some golden weekend missions, which is always a nice thing because it's some extra free stones and some sleepy guys on the weekend. So I would absolutely take that. And uh, that's pretty much gonna do it guys for all of the events that came with the Fizz transforming Piccolo uh, campaign on JP. And as I said in the beginning of this video, I do expect things to be very similar for this upcoming global celebration, but things could definitely change so uh, keep that in mind and don't get too mad at me if that is the case but before we go let's actually quickly cover the uh, str perfect cell extreme z battle event and also his extreme z awakening details so as far as the weakness goes it's future saga and uh, he also brings with him the extreme z awakenings for this str 17 and int 18 and as far as the rest of the details go they're pretty standard for uh, your average Extreme Z battle event, your fighting cell, 
and uh, you're getting orbs along the way, you're getting some kites, you're obviously getting medals, and uh, after level 20, he gets 80% damage reduction against int, str, fizz, and extreme types, so uh, try not to bring those types. Um, obviously, the ideal team would be uh, one with mostly future Saga units uh, that are super type, and also uh, as many AGL types as possible. That's kind of the strategy here, but uh, there are definitely a lot of teams out there that could beat this event since um, these Extreme Z battles overall are not super difficult, at least up to level 30, they're not too bad. And then uh, after level 30, you get one Hercule statue per clear. Uh, in total, you're getting 30 uh, Dragon Stones, 11 STR Kai's, uh, a lot of uh, orbs, of course, all the medals you need to Extreme Z Awaken the Cell. And that's pretty much all there is to know. So, moving on to Cell himself, post Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill is STR Types key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 120%. He has two different super attacks. Uh, the first one, Solar Kamehameha, launches at 10 key or 12 key and causes immense damage and raises attack and defense, and this can be stacked infinitely, so he's extremely good for the uh, Legendary Goku event and Infinite Dragon Ball history. And his 11 key is Self Destruct, which uh, causes supreme damage to all enemies while raising attack and defense and recovering 10% HP. And his passive is End of the Game, Attack plus 100%. Defense plus 50%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% when obtaining 6 or more key spheres. All enemies attack and defense minus 20% when facing 2 or more enemies. Uh, links, Revival, Messenger from the Future, Big Bad Bosses, Kamehameha, Nightmare, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle, a crap ton of categories, Resurrected Warriors, Full Power Androids, Transformation Boost, Time Travelers, Artificial Life Forms, Android Slash Cell Saga, and also Kamehameha. So that is the STR Perfect Cell right there, guys. Uh, extremely good, Extreme Z Awakening, no pun intended. Um, <laughs> and you know what, I'll be totally okay with this being the next Dokkan Fest EZA on global, although I would definitely take Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken over him, I would definitely take um, Omega Shenron over him, but that's just me. Uh, so that's the cell right there, and next up is the Mass Extreme Z Awakening. So the weakness for this event is actually Ginyu Force, but uh, once again, you can beat this with quite a few teams out there. And the units getting Extreme Z Awakenings is, uh, let's see, so there's the AGL Super Saiyan 2 uh, Vegeta, there's the um, Nova Shenron, uh, Tech Super 13, uh, Int Metal Cooler, uh, Int Super 13, we also have uh, STR Evil Boo, and finally Fizz Super Saiyan Goku. So these are the 7 units, they all become very good, but I'm not going to go over each of them individually because uh, that would take a very long time. and. There's always the chance that this doesn't even come for this next celebration, so I'm going to hold off on that until we have confirmation that we're actually getting this um, in January. And if that is the case, I'll make a separate video talking about and breaking down each of them individually. All right, so that is the uh, Mass Extreme Z Awakening right there. Same thing as uh, most normal Extreme Z battles, actually. So there's 30 levels. You get medals along the way. And uh, once you complete the first 30 levels, you get 30 stones, you get a good amount of orbs spread across the different types, and then enough uh, metals to Extreme Z Awaken all uh, 7 units, and also some uh, Grand Kai's along the way as well. So that is it guys for today's video. It went a little bit longer than I thought it would, but hopefully you guys found it useful, um, found it informative in some way. And uh, that is pretty much all I can tell you guys for now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, Hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.